Hello friends, welcome in my channel youtube.com code with Bhupendra. Today we discuss all possible ways to find factor of a number in C. So let's start. To design a program I am using code docs but you can also use turbo C or any other compiler. First of all I am including header file, then main function and declaring some local variables that I need to find the factorial. To store the result, I am using data type double and now I am asking user to enter a number for which we need to find the factorial. Now I am assuming x equal to 1 which is known as identity value for multiplication. Now I am keeping i equal to 1 since factor equal to 1 into 2 into 3 up to n. So I am performing a loop i equal to 1 to n and here I am writing x is equal to x into y and increasing value of i by 1. At the end of loop, I am displaying the result. For uh, double data type, we to use lf, but I do not want to display decimal places, so I am writing 0 0.0 lf. Now program is ready. We have to save, compile and execute it. Now we have to enter numbers, say 4. So the result is factor equal to 24. Now see how it is working. In my case, I have taken n equal to 4 and x equal to 1 and performed a loop of i from 1 to n. Every time we are performing x is equal to x into i. So first time it is 1 into 1, 1. Next time 1 into 2, 2. 2 into 3, 6. 6 into 4, 24. So the result is 24. Now we can reverse this loop since factor can be n into n minus 1 up to 3 into 2 into 1. So here I am converting i equal to n in place of less than I am using greater than 1 and in place of plus plus I am performing minus minus. So the loop will get reversed. Again compile it and execute it save 5. So it is giving factor equal to 120. Now in place of while loop we can use do while loop and we have to put semicolon here. Again compile it and execute. Now I am saying 9. The result is 362880. Now we can also make this loop in increasing order. Here it is less than and n. Again we can check the result. Say 10. So it is giving the result. Now in place of do I loop we can also use for loop. So I am writing for i equal to 1, i less than equal to n, i plus plus and here x is equal to x into i. Now again save, compile, run, say 10. So again result will get appeared. Now we can convert this program in the form of functions. So here I am writing x is equal to factorial n. So we have to define a function factorial that will return the result into variable x. So here I am giving function definition. 
double is written type function name is factorial which is taking integer n now we have to define a variable x equal to 1 identity value and then we have to perform a loop 1 to n i plus plus here we have to write x is equal to x into i finally we have to return this value back to the main program so again check whether it works or not compile we have to wait till compilation get over now we can execute it Now I am seeing 5. So it is giving 120. Now, in place of using IT2 approach, we can use recursion here. In recursion, if the value of n is less than or equal to 1, we have to return 1. For all other cases, we have to return n into factorial of n minus 1. So this is recursive call. Again, we have to save it, compile it, and execute it. Say 10. So we are getting 3628800. Now, how it is working? We have seen the formula if n is less than or equal to 1, it gives 1. For all other cases, it will give n into f of n minus 1. Let n is equal to 4. So it becomes f4 will be converted into 4 into f3. f3 becomes 3 into f2 f2 becomes 2 into f1. Now the value of f1 is 1. So 2 into 1 becomes 2. 3 into 2 is 6. 4 into 6 becomes 24. So the result is 24. Recursive call uses a stake memory that is last in first out. Finally friends, we can use conditional operator here. Conditional operator is also known as ternary operator in which you write condition then two statement and then false statement. In our case, the condition is n less than or equal to 1. If n is less than or equal to 1, we have to return 1. Otherwise, we have to return n into factorial of n minus 1. So, again, we have to compile it and execute it and say 10. We are getting 3628800. Friends, if you have liked this video, please subscribe. Thanks.